हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी हैव टू लर्न अबाउट मेगास्पोरोजिनेसिस एंड देन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फीमेल गमेटोफाइट मींस एम्ब्रियो सेल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट मेगास्पोरोजिनेसिस मेगास्पोरोजिनेसिस इज द प्रोसेस इन व्हिच फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हैप्लॉइड मेगास्पोर टेक्स प्लेस फ्रॉम द deployed megaspore mother cell this process takes place in the new cells of ovum new cells of ovum megaspore is the haploid which is produced from that megaspore mother cell now where megaspore mother cell is present in this diagram yeah. in the new cells there are parenchyma tissue is present which is the diploid in nature this parenchyma cell is nutritive in nature thus the megaspore mother cell is distinguished in this cell in the center or towards the Micro micropylar A. Due to the nutrition, this cell become a large and acts as megaspore mother cell. So here, this cell micropylar end means the this is the micropylar end and this is the chelazal end. And thus, the cell of the here become a large and acts as a megaspore mother cell. so this is the megaspore mother cell responsible for formation of megaspore which is the haploid this is all about there is a megasporogenesis let us discuss about the development of female gametophyte first of all what is female gametophyte where gametes are produced such a structure is the gametophyte and here female gametes produce thus it is also be known as the embryo sac now we have to discuss about the process of that development of female gametophyte let us discuss uh, in the view vs of anatropos ovum where uh, cell Uh, megaspore mother cell this is the megaspore mother cell that uh, responsible for the development of megaspore and further they are uh, responsible for for the formation of the embryo cell in the ovum now how this process is occur let us discuss about that this megaspore mother cell which is present in the new cells of the ovum this cell now this is the megaspore mother cell known as the megaspore mother cell we can say mmc means the megaspore mother cell and let us uh, indicate here the position direction that is a, uh, this is the chelazal end and this is a micropylar end like this this is the chelazal end and this is the micropylar end and megaspore mother cell is here this mega me, megaspore mother cell first of all undergoing the meiosis division known as the reduction division so meiosis division megaspore mother cell is the diploid and as we know meiosis is the reduction division hence there is a reduction of chromosome number takes place in a forming a megaspore so here after meiosis there is a formation of the four haploid megaspore takes place four haploid megaspore this is known as the linear tetrad linear tetrad here only linear tetrad is present 
but in the male gametophyte there are the various kind of the tetrad form but here only linear tetrad is produced and this is the uh, linear tetrad megaspore now uh, out of the four uh, megaspore the upper one means uh, that is a chelazal side megaspore megaspore is known as functional megaspore but the remaining three megaspore it is undergoing the degeneration hence that is known as a degenerating generating megaspore degenerating megaspore so these are, are look at again megaspore mother cell undergoing the meiosis division that is known as the reduction division here a linear tetrad megaspore produce a chelazal side megaspore is known as the functional megaspore that is known as the functional megaspore but uh, remaining three megaspore undergoing the degeneration so this is known as the degenerating megaspore now this after this degenerating megaspore there is a functional megaspore that is a functional megaspore that is haploid in nature megaspore here present haploid in nature that is nourished by the new cell cell and that become large that become a large the nucleus is present it is nourished by new cell cell because new cell cell is the nutritive cell supply the food material to that functional megaspore now this functional megaspore uh, become large and then undergoing the three successive mitotic division look at here this division is only free nuclear mitotic division means free nuclear mitotic division means there is karyokinesis takes place first and then later on later on um, cytokinesis takes place look at only karyokinesis takes place first second and third mitotic division and then later on wall formation cytokinesis takes place now here in this cell single cell haploid cell is present this is the functional megaspore undergoing the first mitotic division that is the first mitotic division first mitotic division undergoing the first mitotic division so here after first mitotic division there is a nucleus of this functional megaspore that produce the two uh, nuclei after undergoing the first mitotic division this nuclei migrate towards the uh, end pole of that megaspore then this two nuclei undergoing another mitotic division and again form there is a four nuclei in uh, after undergoing the second mitotic division second mitotic division then after second third mitotic division takes place then here again after uh, undergoing the third mitotic division mitotic division inside this microspore there is uh, each end of it eight cell produce after undergoing the third mitotic division so thus here 
three successive mitotic division takes place and finally here eight cell produce out of the eight cell four are present uh, towards the chalazal end and four are present towards the micropylar end out of this each side of the four cell one nuclei migrated to the center means here structure is being here like this this is the four nuclei but one nu nucleus migrate to the center here is also four but one migrate to the center thus here is a migration is takes place of the one nucleus from the east side now this uh, megaspore and this nucleus uh, get organized means there is a like this how organization of this sept, embryo sept takes place three cell here now wall formation cytokinesis takes place towards the chalazal end this cell undergoing the wall formation then middle is that is a diploid cell form here prior to the fertilization and towards the micropylar end there is a present of the group of three cell middle cell is the large and uh, supporting two cell is the small that is uh, here and this large cell is the x haploid and supporting cell it is known as the synergids synergids middle large cell is the x haploid this we can say here polar nuclei polar nuclei and this group of the three cell towards the chalazal end that is known as the antipodal cell antipodal cells now this structure is the seven cell and eight nucleated structure how look at here which is the seven cell and uh, how many nucleus is present there is a eight nucleus is present eight nucleated structure look at here 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight nucleus is present and seven cell means that this is the first cell second third four five six and this is the seventh cell means the seven cell and eight nucleated structure is formed finally known as the embryo cell now here this process it is known as the monosporic development of the embryo sac why it is known as the monosporic development of the embryo sac because this development takes place from the only one megaspore that is functional me megaspore hence this development of embryo sac it is known as the monosporic the development also be known as the endosporic because that is takes place in megaspore hence it is known as the endosporic development of the embryo cell thus there is this uh, structure of embryo cell is takes place embryo cell takes place and that is all about there is a development of the female gametophyte thank you